I look at stuff like the morning chaga. So if you're going to say, Andrew, leave these people alone. It's like, well, these people should be giving you a better idea what it is they're doing to some people. Some people are getting screwed out of their retirement money because somebody else wants a car. Yo. So I like to do quite a bit of stuff here. This is going to bounce off of a story that I posted the other day. But before I tell you what the story was, I'm going to tell you how I want to paint this picture. Sitting at my dad's house the other day and he's watching tennis. With tennis comes tennis related commercials. So there's a commercial that comes up. The commercial that comes up is a Venus or Serena Williams, one of the Williams sisters using a piece of exercise equipment. It's the one that you put on the wall with the cables attached and you do the movements where the person's on the freaking wall and you're trying to copy them and do the reps and it's a piece of workout equipment. Never be afraid of your strength. Because your body is capable of amazing things. The one they said you shouldn't have. The one driven by a power they can't see. Own your strength. And see how far it takes you. Tonal, be your strongest. The thought here is that if you do the stuff that one of this Williams sisters is doing on this wall with this machine, then you're going to be able to get closer to where this person is. All I can think during this is th this is probably the only time that this Williams sister has ever used this piece of equipment. She probably got paid, I don't know, 50 to a hundred thousand dollars, maybe even more to walk into this room, use this piece of equipment and then go on her merry way. She may have never used it again. And you're also going to tell me that she won any single freaking tournament or at anywhere she's ever been using this piece of equipment and it just drives me crazy and i am going to let you know that i know that i'm not the only one who's onto this but there are people out there let's say a million people watch this thing and there are a hundred thousand ten percent of them who look at it and they go okay you know what? maybe that is a good idea i tell you this because i work with plenty of people who are always asking me questions about things and for every five things that you turn down because you understand that it's being marketed towards you and it's not that good there's always one thing that gets to one person where they're gonna break through that barrier that little shell that you've got and they're going to be able to sell it to you. Bill Swift here for Flex Seal, the easy way to coat, seal, and stop leaks fast. And now there's Flex Seal Liquid, this super thick rubber that you could pour right into cracks. So here's me bringing up the story that I put up, which was of Brooke Wells and her new sponsorship with the mattress company. It got a lot of feedback. It got like freaking 25, 30 responses to me and it got shared around. Then you go to the freaking morning chalk up page and then the morning chalk up working cahoots with the CrossFit Inc. And they're all trying to do the thing to sell the products for the people because everyone's just trying to make money and it's okay to make money. Another story that I put up the other day was of Craig Ritchie and how his videos no longer do anything for anybody. And all he did in his last video was he showed some dogs, dogs are cool. And then he went and worked out, working out's cool. And then he went home and he sat in his ice bath. And amidst all that stuff, all he did was say, hey, buy my clothes. And you're a legend. And do Gowad, not Ramwad anymore because he's not getting paid by Ramwad. He's getting paid by Gowad to talk about Gowad because that's the new big thing. So we go back to Brooke Wells. I saw that and he goes, okay, she talks about sleep a lot. She's probably the athlete that you want to bring in if you're going to talk about sleep. However, it was not very long ago that she was a performance sleep person. Was it maybe not even a year ago? Didn't Morning Chaka put up a, a freaking article about how she's a performance sleep person? Now she's a an eight sleep person. So I had a huge amount of people reach out to me and they're just talking about how they know, they know, they know. And I know a lot of you guys know. And here's the thing with knowing is that for every person that knows, there's someone who doesn't know. And if like I told you in the Venus or the Serena Williams video that I was watching on the tennis channel, 10 million people are watching tennis right there. And there's 100,000 people who go out and buy the tonal system because they were watching the Williams sister do it right there. There are I don't know, this is a smaller knit group, and if there aren't 10 million people watching, maybe there's a million people who go through that morning chalk up page that has a quarter million followers, and they're gonna see the Brooke Wells mattress here. And then once they see the mattress here, they're gonna either make a decision and say, oh, this is crap, I know they're just trying to sell it, and they see right through it, or they're gonna go ahead and buy it. I like to say this also. If you buy it, and you like it, and you see benefit from it, that's all well and good. I'll shut my freaking mouth. People always ask me about BCAAs, and I go, do you understand what protein is? And they always say no. And I go, protein is 
all of the BCAAs in one. I believe there's 20 of them. There's 20 amino acids, and the BCAAs are just a select few of them put into a powder so that you can drink it. If you're hitting your daily amount of protein, then you don't need BCAAs per se. So I say, eat your body weight in grams of protein. Then I say, do you do that? And this person goes, yeah, I do that. And I go, okay, then you don't need a BCAA. However, if drinking something like a BCAA, which is usually flavored pretty well, helps you drink more water, and you're finding benefit through taking that BCAA, then I'll shut my freaking mouth. You can apply this exact exact same principle to the mattress. So if somebody goes, Andrew, should I buy this mattress? I go, it's up to you to buy the mattress. Do you have the money to spend on the mattress? Are you stretching yourself too thin to go and buy the mattress? To which they'll say no. And then if they buy it, and then if they sleep better, and if they have a good time on it, and every time they get onto the mattress, they have a great night of sleep, and they say, oh, thank you, Brooke Wells, for promoting this mattress, then I am the one who's dumb here. But I don't know if I'm really dumb because all I'm doing is I'm giving you the option to say, hey, here is 100% transparency. It might help, it might not help, but it's not going to turn you into Brooke Wells. It's not gonna make you sleep 10 hours. She talks about how she's always been sleeping for 10 hours. It's not like she has a mattress and then all of a sudden it's making her sleep better or more sound or anything. And if it does, it's sheerly coincidence that she is a great sleeper with possibly a good mattress. Do I have the mattress? No, I looked at it. Somebody sent me the prices. It was something like 1800 for a full and it was 3000 for a queen size mattress. And that's an expensive mattress. And I understand how marketing works. I understand how these businesses work and they're gonna pull these athletes in. And there's nothing wrong with the athletes for promoting this stuff. Like if they're gonna give Brooke Wells money to plaster her name on the mattress, that's cool by me. I can speak from experience where I've only ever shared products that I believe in. So I'm actually currently wearing a Boxstar shirt. So I was sponsored by Boxstar, it's an apparel company. And this shirt is awesome. And if people asked, it's like, where'd you get that? Go, oh, it's Boxstar. It's a company out of Kenosha, Wisconsin, and they did a really good job. And it's comfortable, and they're good people. I met them personally. They would do the apparel for my affiliate back in the day. And then I had a food sponsor, and they were called Cinderella Paleo. It was owned by a man named Bernie, really good guy. Now he owns a brewery. But back in the day, my members would ask, go, hey, what are you eating? And I would be eating the Cinderella Paleo stuff. I would eat like six pounds of freaking quinoa oatmeal, and I would eat all of this sloppy joe meat. That was all I would eat. And it got me really lean. It was a pretty cool time where all I would do was eat this paleo food. I got really, really lean. Everyone goes, what are you doing? I eat the paleo food, got me lean. I did it for a series of like six to eight months. And I had absolutely no issues telling these people that, oh, A equals B and this stuff seemed to be helping. And it was cost effective. And I felt good telling these people these things. It wasn't like I was the super sleeper and I happened to get a mattress one day, got all this money and then boom, buy these mattresses. Don't buy Performer Sleep anymore. It didn't do anything for me anymore. Did these guys even give me any money? I mean, maybe this is why I'm not a super successful. I'm not living in three 13 mansions. I have a thing with integrity. I have things with supporting the products that actually mean something to me and giving people products that actually will help them for sure. And I've had people reach out to me on Instagram recently because they're seeing that I'm getting some freaking followers on YouTube. And they go, hey, you should support our energy drink or hey, you should pump up this and I, I'll send you free crap. And I suppose, sure, they could send me the free crap, but I'm not gonna push anything that I don't believe in. And it always really irks me when I see the Williams sisters on the TV pushing the tonal system that absolutely had nothing to do with them getting to where they are. Or I have issues with the morning chalk up posting the Brooke Wells sitting on her mattress when a year ago she was with a different mattress company, which she's always been a great sleeper. And then it's gonna mean to connive all of these people who don't know any better. I worked as a car salesman. I know exactly what it's like to not know any better. I know what it's like when people don't know any better. I left my car sales job the second that I screwed some people out of like a 25% APR loan because they couldn't get into a different car, but that's all they wanted. And I'm like, guys, I don't know if you should do this. And then they forced themselves into it. And then I quit my car sales job because I felt like a freaking piece of crap selling cars to people who I knew were going to default and get everything taken away from them. I had their freaking mom roll in a wheelchair. She was retired from the post office and she had to co-sign on it. So they get their freaking loan. And like, what, is she going to lose her house? She's retired. She doesn't work anymore. She can't even walk. How does that make you feel? And like, that's how it makes me feel. I look at stuff like the morning chalk up. So if you're going to say, Andrew, leave these people alone. It's like, well, these people should be giving you a better idea what it is they're doing to some people. Some people are getting screwed out of their retirement money because somebody else wants a car. Ex aggressive example, but that's how passionately I feel about this stuff. And if you don't see where I'm going with this and you just want everyone to love everybody, that's okay. Everybody can love everybody. And if you want to buy the mattress, I got to tell you, and if the mattress feels better, good for you and you sleep better because of it, by all means, buy 30 mattresses and freaking walk around on your entire house full of mattresses. At least I'm standing here giving you the option to make that decision on your own. And Hiller, talking about the freaking stuff on the internet that no one else talks about. If you like all this stuff, subscribe to the channel, send it to your friends. 
bad signal. You know, I talked about that in my video about the Masters athletes. Go ahead. If you see anything you don't like, just freaking blow it up in their comment section. Bat, 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 bat. I love you guys. Andrew Hiller. Bye.